Hi everyone, this is the walkthrough for Bill's Gas from December 2nd, 2023. This is a corner edge Sudoku. Uh, we've done a couple of these, I think, but it may have been a while since you saw this. So I will go over the rules. Um, in addition to normal Sudoku rules, one to nine inch row, column, and three by three box. Uh, we also have these clues outside the grid and they tell us digits that must go in an edge cell of a box. So here we have a E2 here that means two is in one of the edge cells in box one. We also have clues for the corner cells. So this C48 is telling us that both four and eight must go in corner cells in box one. And the clue applies to whatever box it is touching. And that's it, that's the rule. So let's get started. And we can start with two already. These are the edge cells. We have to have two in one of them, but there's a two over here. So we can place two in that cell. For the corner cells, we have an eight down here. So the eight must go in that cell. And then we're gonna have a four in one of those cells. Two in this box is in an edge cell, but we have twos looking in. So two is in that cell. Seven could go in either of these. Three in this box is in an edge cell, and we have a three at the bottom. So that's gonna place three. We also need a one and five in the corners. We have a five here, placing five, and one in one of these cells. And there is some degree of symmetry here. Um, we're kind of doing similar things as we go around. Um, edges in this box contain seven and eight. Seven can't go here or here. So it isn't one of these cells. Uh, we don't have any restriction on eight right now. So we'll leave that. This box, we need four on an edge cell. There's a four there, so four must go in that cell. We have two and six in the corners. Again, we have a given six, which is placing six here, and two in one of these two cells. This box, we need five and six in edge cells. Six can't go here, five can't go here. That's not super helpful yet, so I'm not even gonna mark it. And here, one in an edge cell, the one here places one. And then we need three and seven in the corners. Seven goes here and three goes in one of the, oop, wrong mode. Three goes in one of these. This box, we have five and nine in edge cells. Five can't go in either of those. So I will mark five in one of those cells. All right, let's do a little Sudoku now. So in this box, we have digits in these cells, which means all our remaining digits go in one of these lines, and that can be very useful to look for. In this case, we have a three in row two, so three can't go in these cells. It must go in one of these cells, but the same is true for four, because four has to go in a corner. So we actually have a three, four pair here, and that does a couple of things for us. Three is in one of these cells, so it's not here. That place is three. And now we have a six, seven, nine triple in the remaining cells, which eliminates seven from here. So that places seven. Uh, seven in box eight only has one place because of these sevens. Uh, three in box four is gonna be one of those cells. It's one in one of those cells. This is not seven from this seven. Sure, there's something more useful that I'm not looking at yet. Um, two goes in one of those cells. All right, let's keep going around looking at these sorts of patterns. So here, uh, four can't go in column eight in this box. So it goes with the one here and we get a one four pair. That's gonna disambiguate three and four here and leave us with seven, eight, nine. It's gonna eliminate seven, place seven in box number six. Um, 
we can also place eight. So eight can no longer go in these edge cells, but it has to go in one of the edge cells, so it goes there. Uh, we already had the two and seven placed here, so that's fine. In this box, we can't place one in these cells, so we get a one, two pair. And that places four and one. That gives us five, eight, nine here, but we have a seven, eight, nine triple looking down, so this is the five. Yeah, it gives us nine and eight there. We're left with five and nine in this column. I haven't given five. In this column, we need three and four. We haven't given three. And then we need one, two, and six. That's not one. That's not two, because the two's in the central box. Uh, this row, we need two, three, and six. Two can only go here because of these twos. Three can't go here, so this is six and this is three. And we still need five and six in edge cells here. And the six tells us this must be the five and this is six. Uh, we have these clues complete, these complete, these complete, this is complete, these, this. So really we're only down to this clue at this point. Uh, the five here resolves the five at least. In this box we need two, five, and nine. Five can only go here, two can only go here. That gives us nine. And now nine looking up into this box can't go in any of these, uh, these edge cells, so it goes here. That gives us our one. That's not one, so this is the only place for one. In box six, the nine gives us six and two resolve six and two here. Six and nine give us seven, nine. Eight over here. Uh, up here we still need a three and we have a given three. And that can't be seven, so seven, nine are resolved. This is a six, eight pair. We have one, five, and four. The two fives place five here. Uh, the two has resolved our one, two pair. We need eight and nine. Gives us eight, nine there, eight and six there. Here we need one and four. So four, one, four, one. Down the middle, we need four, eight, and nine. With an eight, nine in the row. And a nine here as well. So that's eight, nine in that order. This is two and six we can resolve. These are six and seven, and these are three, four, and eight, which will be four, three, eight, like that. And that's the solution. Um, I've probably solved this before in testing. Um, this was actually made quite a while ago at this point. Bill has a pretty good backlog, um, but I definitely didn't remember the solve path. Um, it's a neat solve path. Uh, the way these triples work. This is a pretty common thing to look for. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it.